Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about an autism test online that you can take on my website, which will help you understand if you need to go for an official autism assessment or if it's just unusual behavior. All right, we're going to get right into it right now. Let's go. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. What's going on? My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. And in this video, I'm showing you a test on my website. That's my beautiful face on there. Yes, it is. All about a questionnaire that you can take, which will show you if you're somewhere in the autism spectrum or not. Like, this is not precise, but it's a good indication to help you go then to your specialist or whatever you want to go to see if you could get an official assessment. Let's get into it. Guys, just before we go any further, if you are having mental health issues and you would like to have online therapy, you can get some through BetterHelp. Now, the link is in the description down below. Now, BetterHelp is an online therapy that you get through an app. And the cool thing is that you can either be on the phone, type to them, or do a video call with them, and they will find you a specialist. If you're like, I've got you know, ADHD and I have mental health problems, I want to speak to a counselor, they will find you a counselor who specializes in ADHD within 24 hours to 48 hours. I've done this, I use it, and I think it's fantastic. Now, if you do use that link down below, it does help me out, it's a referral link, but you know, I wanna help you out, and I think a better help is pretty much a fantastic service. So definitely check them out in the link down below. Okay, let's get into this video. Okay, so as you can see now, guys, this is me on my website right now. Um, now, if you go to my website, which is just theaspieworld.com, you can go on my navigation here and click on autism test. Now, what's going to happen is going to bring up this thing called an AQ test, which basically stands for autism quotient test, okay? And it's a diagnostic questionnaire designed to measure your expression of autism spectrum traits in an individual uh, by his or her own subjective self-assessment, right? This is published by Simon Baron Cohen. Yes, he is related to Sasha. Uh, and it's called the Cambridge Autism Research Centre, which is an amazing place. And uh, all the references are down the bottom here for the resources of where we go from. Also, if you are interested, there's some videos here that go on uh, from me talking about um, ways in which, you know, you can uh, pr prepare yourself for an autism diagnosis assessment. Okay, so let's get into taking this test. So click start. And here we go. Um, I prefer to do things uh, with others rather than on my own. I disagree. I love to do things on my own. I prefer to do things the same way over again. I agree. If I try to imagine something, I find it easy to create a picture of my mind. I disagree. I can't do that. I frequently get so strongly absorbed in one thing that I lose sight of other things. That's an agreement for me. I often notice small styles that others do not. This is me. I usually notice car number plates or similar strings of information. I agree. Oh, guys, just by the way, if you're new around here and you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, autism, ADHD, and yada yada, Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below or follow my pages. I put daily videos up. Okay, back to the video. Okay, number seven. Other people frequently tell me that I have said impolite or even thought, uh, I, uh, even though I think it's polite. So do you, like no filter. I agree, I don't have a filter. I say things that people get really annoyed at me. When I'm reading a story, I can easily imagine the characters look like. I disagree. I have no idea. So this is why Harry Potter was very difficult for me when I seen it in the cinema. I am fascinated by dates. I agree. Dates do fascinate me. Especially when I'm putting in my PIN number when I'm paying for stuff at the grocery store. It's really interesting. I always think like, oh, 1987. That's an interesting year. Year after I was born. What else happened? In a social group, I can easily pay, uh, keep track of several different conversations. Absolutely not. I lose track instantly. I lose track of my own conversation. I'm literally sidetracking my conversation right now with you guys. I find social situations easy. Disagree. I tend to notice details that others don't. I do agree. This one time I was in college and... After lunch, uh, another guy who was on our course called Tom, he came back and he was wearing different trousers. And I was like, dude, did you change your trousers? And he said, yeah. How did you even notice that? And I was like, because I noticed little things that nobody does. 13, I would rather go to the library than a party. Oh, 100%. I love research. I find making up stories easy. Um, disagree. I find myself drawn more strongly to people than to things. Disagree. I tend to have very strong interests, which I get upset if I can't pursue. Oh, 100%. I enjoy social chit-chat. Nope. When I talk, it isn't always easy for others to get a word in edgeways. <laughs> That's very true. I'm fascinated by numbers. I am. I love mathematics. I have a degree in chemistry, hence the number thing. When I'm reading a story, I find it difficult to work out the character's intentions. Oh, 100%. I have no idea. This is why I stay away from fictional stuff. Always factual information. I don't particularly enjoy reading fiction. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, I find it hard to make new friends. Hey. Do, 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 do. It depends, right? It's ambiguous. I find it hard to make a new meaning for friends, but I find it easy to make acquaintances because I find myself somewhat charismatic. So I'm going to say disagree because I don't have any good friends. I notice patterns in things all the time. I do. 
I would rather go to the theatre than the museum. Disagree. I'd rather go to the museum. It does not upset me if I did a routine this instead. Uh, no, it definitely upsets me. I frequently find that I don't know how to keep a conversation going. <laughs> I agree. Sometimes I get stuck in the middle. I'm like, okay, what do I do now? Somebody throw me a line. You know, when you're like watching uh, a play or something and the, the, the director reads out the line for the person to prompt them. I find it easy to read between the lines. No. I usually concentrate more on the whole picture rather than small details. I disagree. I'm not good at remembering phone numbers. I disagree. I'm actually quite good at remembering phone numbers. I don't usually notice small changes in situation, uh, situations of persons. No, I do. So that's a no. That's wrong that I don't usually list. I know how to tell if somebody listening to me is getting bored. I have no idea. You're probably bored right now. I deeply apologize. When I walk, well, sorry, when I talk on the phone, I'm not sure when it's my turn to speak. I definitely agree because sometimes I don't know if I've spoken too much or when it's my turn to talk. I enjoy doing things spontaneously. I do not. I am often the last one to stand the point of a joke. 100% jokes are not my good thing. I find it easy to work out what someone's thinking, feeling just by looking at their faces. Who on earth can do that? Who are these people? Superman? What's that about? Um, if there is an interruption... I can switch back to what I was doing quite quickly. No. I'm good at social chit-chat. Disagree. I think that's the second time I've asked this question. People often tell me that I keep going on and on about the same thing. That's very correct. I do. Fight Club. When I was younger, I used to enjoy playing games involved pretending with other children. Absolutely not. I stayed inside my whole uh, preschool and primary school career. I stayed indoors at break times and recess to sit on my computer and read Encarta 97, which was the original Wikipedia. Back in the 90s, you probably won't remember that because you guys are all too young. I like to collect information about categories, things. Yes, I do. I find it difficult to imagine what it would be like to be someone else. I agree, it's difficult. I like to carefully plan activities and participate in. I do agree. I enjoy social occasions. I disagree. I find it difficult to work out people's intentions. I agree. These situations make me anxious. 100%. I enjoy meeting new people. I do, actually. I'm good. At, I'm a good diplomat. I disagree. I am not very good at remembering people's date of birth. I agree. I'm terrible at it. In fact, I actually don't know my mother's date of birth or my brother or my sister's date of birth. I only know my father's because it's Christmas Day. Yeah. I find it very easy to play games and with children that involve pretend. Disagree. Alright, see the results. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. Wow. So, this is, the, this is how it goes. Not autistic people will score between 0 and 33, right? So I scored, oh, sorry, between 33 and 50 is possible autistic, right? So my score out of 45, I, my score 45 out of 50, which means that I would definitely uh, go to check in with a, an assessor about autism. Now, guys, if you are interested in this type of thing and want to see more videos about me doing this kind of stuff, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me that this was a good video. I'd like to see you do more, like dyslexia tests and ADHD tests and all that kind of good stuff. If you want to. Anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe. Hit that share button if you think this could help somebody. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.